Hydrocarbons are the leading sector in Algeria's mineral industry, which includes diverse but modest production of metals and industrial minerals. In 2006, helium production in Algeria accounted for about 13% of total world output. Hydrocarbons produced in Algeria accounted for about 2.9% of total world natural gas output and about 2.2% of total world crude oil output in 2006. Algeria held about 21% of total world identified resources of helium, 2.5% of total world natural gas reserves, and about 1% of total world crude oil reserves. History Some minerals, such as high-grade iron ore, phosphate, mercury, and zinc, have been exported since the early 1970s. The State Mining and Prospecting Corporation, the National Company for Mineral Research and Exploration Société Nationale de Recherches et d'Exploitations Minières, was established in 1967. As a result of the government's decentralization policy, the company was restructured in 1983 into separate production and distribution entities. The most important of these were an iron ore and phosphate company known as Furfos, which had three production units and a port complex at Anaba, and another company called Aram that specialized in conducting mineral research at Boumerdes on the Mediterranean Sea, and Tamanrasset in the south. In 2000, the government proposed allowing foreign investors to develop mineral deposits held by the national mining companies. The National Geologic and Mineral Research Office had identified many mineral deposits. However, these were located in remote areas that lacked infrastructure or government funding for development. With Algeria's proximity to Europe, its major minerals customer, the country's base and precious metals are of interest to foreign investors. Guerrilla activity, though, remains a significant deterrent. <laughs> Legal framework The mineral industry is managed primarily by the Ministère de l'Energie et des Mines Ministry of Energy and Mines and subsidiary organizations, such as the Agence Nationale du Patrimoine Minier ANPM, National Agency for Mining Endowment. Processed mineral commodities, such as cement, fertilizers, and steel, are under the jurisdiction of the Ministère de l'Industrie et de la Restructuration Ministry of Industry and Restructuring. Non-fuel mineral operations were regulated by Law No. 01-10 of July 3, 2001, and associated decrees. Natural gas and petroleum operations were regulated by Law No. 05-07 of April 28, 2005. Environmental laws applicable to the mineral industry included Law No. 03-10 of July 19, 2003, and associated decrees, and Law No. 05-12 of September 4, 2005. Economic impact Revenue attributed to natural gas and petroleum production, processing, and sales activity accounted for 78% of 2006 government income. Hydrocarbon activity accounted for more than 33% of the nation's 2006 gross domestic product GDP. The continued increase of international crude oil and natural gas prices resulted in a significant increase in the value of Algerian exports, most of which were shipped through the country's eight main seaports or exported by pipeline. In 2006, Algerian exports of goods and services were valued at $57.3 billion, of which hydrocarbons accounted for about $53.6 billion, compared with 2005, when exports of goods and services were valued at $48.8 billion, of which hydrocarbons accounted for about $45.6 billion. Other mineral commodity exports included base metals about $206 million, iron and steel $197 million, industrial minerals about $52 million, and precious minerals about $4 million. About 28,000 people were employed in the mining sector, of which slightly less than one half was in the private sector. Aggregate and stone production companies accounted for more than 60% of the mining sector workforce, clay production companies, 12%, phosphate production companies, 6%, and iron ore production companies, 5%. == <laughs> Economy 
Topic: Production. Several significant changes in production were posted in 2006. Mineral commodities with notable production increases included aggregate and crushed stone, barite, cement, dolomite, feldspar, iron ore, phosphate rock, salt, construction sand, and steel. Mineral commodities with notable production decreases included ammonia, gold, gypsum, helium, pozzolan, quartzite, silica sand, silver, and zinc. Topic structure of the mineral industry About 950 non-fuel mineral operations were active in Algeria in 2006, of which nearly 70% were aggregates, construction sand, or crushed stone operations. Private sector companies dominated the aggregate, common clay, gypsum, and sand sectors. Large and medium-sized public sector enterprises dominated the ranks of barite, bentonite, cement, natural gas, petroleum, and phosphate rock producers. The joint ventures of private and state-owned companies dominated the gold production sector, the helium production sector Helios S. P. A., and the steel production sector Middle Steel Anaba S. P. A. In late 2006, the government offered to sell its majority interests in Société des Mines de Berite d'Algérie S. P. A., Société des Diatomites d'Algérie S. P. A., and Société des Feldspaths d'Algérie S. P. A., all of which were subsidiaries of state-owned entrepreneurs. Enterprise Nationale des Produits Meniers Non Ferru and des Substances Utils, S. P. A. E. N. O. F. In 2006, E. N. O. F. closed the Chabot El Hamra zinc mine, and Societe des Calins d'Algerie S. P. A., which was an E. N. O. F. subsidiary, closed the D. Jebel Deba Kalin pit. Commodities <laughs> 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 In 2006, about 300 exploration permits were in effect. Notable exploration and development and redevelopment contracts under negotiation included those with subsidiaries of the Mineral Resources Management Bureau of Henan Province, China for the Boukai's Copper Prospect, the Bukedma Ain Sedra Kef Sema Lead Zinc Prospects, the El Abed Zinc Prospect, the Gutera Manganese Prospect, and the Isophane Gold Prospect. Western Mediterranean Zinc S.P.A., which was a joint venture of Terraman Australia Limited interest and ENOF 35% interest, acquired the rights to explore the Ued Amazor Zinc project. Gold ENOR produced 38,914 metric tons T of ore with an average grade of 9.57 grams per metric ton gold from the Tyrek mine in 2006, which was significantly less than the 65,718 T of ore that the company mined in 2005. The decline was attributed to the delayed delivery of equipment. Development of the Amesmesa mine continued, production was expected to begin in 2007. Topic. Lead, silver, and zinc Assays of samples from a five-hole drilling program at the Tan Chifo deposit by Tan Chifo Mining Co. SARL, which was a joint venture of Maghreb Minerals plc of the United Kingdom 85% interest and Gold and Industrial Minerals GOLDIM, which was a subsidiary of the government-owned Office National de la Recherche Géologique et Minière 15% indicated less than expected mineralization. At year end, the joint venture was re-evaluating whether to continue exploration of the isolated Tan Chifo deposit, which is located about 250 kilometers km northwest of Tamanrasset. In late 2006, Western Mediterranean Zinc began a drilling program on the Tala Hamza deposit of the Ued Amazor Zinc project. Tala Hamza was located about 12 kilometers southwest of the port of Bayaya. Topic. Helium and liquefied natural gas In 2006, the testing of the Hellison Production S.P.A. plant located at the GL1K liquefied natural gas LNG facility in Skikta resulted in the plant's initial liquid helium production. 
Designed with a nominal production capacity of 16 million cubic meters per year of liquid helium, the plant capacity would be restricted to 8 million cubic meters per year because of an explosion and fire that destroyed three LNG trains at Skikta in 2004. The construction of a 4.5 million metric ton per year capacity LNG train at the GL1K facility to replace the destroyed LNG trains was expected to begin in 2007. Topic: <laughs> Petroleum and natural gas. Giant petroleum fields include the Hassi Armel gas field and the Hassi Messout oil field. High international crude oil and natural gas prices encouraged stepped-up exploration and development drilling in Algeria. The number of exploration wells drilled in 2006 increased to 77 compared with 64 in 2005 and 36 in 2001. The number of development wells drilled in 2006 increased to 208 compared with 161 in 2005 and 175 in 2001. Existing and expected local and European high demand for oil and gas has resulted in the construction and planning of a number of pipelines in Algeria. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Oil pipelines. Beni Mansur to Algiers. Houd El Hamra to Bayaya. Houd El Hamra to Skikta. Houd El Hamra to Arzu. In Aminas to Houd El Hamra, Roard El Bagel to Houd El Hamra, Trapsa oil pipeline from Zarzatin, Edjela to Laskira in Tunisia, El Borma to Laskira in Tunisia. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Gas pipelines. Algiers to Arzu, Anaba to Skikta, Bayaya to Skikta. Houd El Hamra to Arzu, Hassi Mesoud to Has C. Armel, Has C. Armel to Skikta, Has C. Armel to Algiers, Has C. Armel to Arzu, In Aminas to Hassi Mesoud, In Salah to Has C. Armel, Part of Algeria Italy gas pipeline via Sardinia from Has C. Armel field to El Kala. Maghreb Europe gas pipeline from Has C. Armel to Tarifa in Spain. Medgaz from Beni Saf to Almeria in Spain, El Borma to Gabes in Tunisia, Trans Mediterranean Pipeline from Has C. Armel to Bologna, Italy, transiting through Tunisia, Algeria Italy Gas Pipeline via Sardinia from El Kala to Cagliari, Sardinia proposed, Trans Saharan Pipeline from Wari in Nigeria to Arzu proposed. Products pipelines Has C. Armel to Eldorit, Has C. Armel to Hassi Mesoud Outlook Owing to its hydrocarbon resources and associated infrastructure and its location close to Europe which was the major market for its minerals, Algeria's hydrocarbon sector is expected to continue to attract foreign direct investment. Continued high international commodity prices were expected to encourage continued domestic and international interest in the government's program to partially divest its ownership interest in non-fuel mineral operations. Successful mineral fuel and non-fuel mineral exploration could result in increased mineral commodity development opportunities. The government proposes to increase oil production subject to production quotas of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries and to increase natural gas exports by 2010. <laughs> 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 